we have two forces acting on this particle and we notice that the particle has to be moving at a constant velocity and although they give us the value of the velocity it turns out that that won't matter what really matters is that when a particle or other object is moving at constant velocity we know that its acceleration is going to equal zero meters per second squared so we then turn over here to newton's second law which tells us that the net force acting on an object is equal to the mass of the object times its acceleration. For the net force, we actually have two forces acting on this particle. We have the force given in the question that is denoted F1, and then we would add that to this unknown force F2 that we are trying to find in this problem. And again, this is equal to the mass times the acceleration, but the acceleration as noted was zero. So actually we have that the sum of the forces, in this case, is equal to zero. So to find this other force, we simply subtract F1 from both sides of this equation. And we can come over here with the result. We can see that the unknown force, F2, is simply the negative of the given force, F1. So this allows us to very easily find this unknown force, F2. We're simply going to take the given force and negate it. So we would have negative, and then maybe put a bracket here, 2 newtons i hat plus negative 6 newtons j hat. And then all we have to do is distribute this minus sign. So once we distribute the minus sign, we'll have our unknown force F2. We can see now it's going to equal negative 2 newtons i hat. And then the negative 6 newtons will be negated to become plus 6 newtons j hat. So this would be the correct answer to the question. I'm not saying